So the stuff that you saw uh, on on Sunday, it's basically uh, visible like this. You right click on the file, and you click on review coverage, and it will give you a report where you know it, it's, this is just a sketch, but it's actually real data. So. Lines in green means there is a review associated with the commit that originated this file. Lines in red means there's no review or FR associated with that. So pretty much repeating myself, but uh, we did not have the entire audience to, uh, yesterday. One, miss, one missing piece for us is the aspect of confidence, of uh, safety that PRs have where when you're using a PR, you can ensure that only reviewed code will make its way to uh, your code base because there is some gatekeeping. And we're proposing a different paradigm here. But we can accomplish the same sense of safety if instead of gatekeeping, we give visibility. So this is one way to give visibility, although it doesn't really work for the big picture because it, you're only seeing for one file. But when you pair that, with a, a cover report or with uh, what's coming next, which is a panorama of commits and saying which commits were reviewed or not, then you give this, then you can give this same sense of safety. So this is more in the categories of in the category of like bells and whistles. It's a small experiment. We might get this in or not at some point, but. Uh, uh, it's more like to beat now on a, on a slightly different drum that, yes, we have something that workflow-wise works better than PRs, but still doesn't give you the confidence that PRs give you. And I think if I, like, I think that's the, the, the next big missing piece because, well, with our, with our current approach now, most of the time you generate an FR when you commit, although if you want to check that check box, you, you may not. So we are generating more engagement, but we're still not giving the sense of confidence to the users. And I think that's the next thing we should tackle. All right. I have a second demo, which is a prototype. It's not ready. It's not close to being ready. It would require a lot more work for it to work for real. But you guys have heard me say that I want this. So I went ahead and kind of built a prototype, not even a prototype, a demo, a mock-up. So one of the things that's coming in this release is we'll show the number of replies on FRs and code marks. So you can see these badges and you may notice that some of them are different colors than others. That's because the ones in blue have new content that I haven't read yet. So let's look at this one. Number five says it's got new replies. And when I go in and, and read this uh, now, that number five has turned gray. And I've, I'm up to date on that F, on that code mark. This one has one new reply. And if I had another account, I, you know, I could type a reply and it would turn this guy into a blue six. Um, so the idea is that the blue ones have new content that you haven't read yet. Um, and when you read them all. So there's two ways I would like to improve this, one from UX perspective and one from an architectural perspective. The UX perspective is that similar how when Slack says you've got unreads below the viewport, you know, it would be nice, like in this view right now, I don't know that I have unread code marks. So it'd be nice to know that there are some down there beyond my scroll. So a little indicator just showing that. Um, the same paradigm would apply to FRs as well. You know, there's new content, even to PRs, if we could get the data, I think that would be a a good way to visualize it. Um, you know, that there's new stuff on this PR that you may care about. I think that would be a, a great UX. Um, so that's from the UX perspective. That's one improvement I'd like to do. And then from an architectural standpoint, it really is just a mock-up. Um, so we'd have to figure out the right place to store this data, how to update the data, and get the right API calls and the right data structures in order to really make this work for real. Um, but after building the prototype, I'm not sure it's all that much work. 